Hey my lovelies, this is Fab Jen. I'm back with a highly requested video and that is to review the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. The color I have today for you is the color 11.5. First let's talk about packaging. The actual packaging is a black semi-glossy box that's actually quite flimsy with a little bit of silver trim going around the bottom. And the reason I'm saying it's flimsy compared to other higher end foundations, this does feel thin and flimsy. That's just my opinion. The actual bottle itself is a glass base with a plastic pump and a plastic top. It also feels very lightweight, almost subpar to other higher end foundations that are even a little bit cheaper than this foundation, the actual quality and feel of the bottle doesn't feel that luxurious. The cost of this foundation is $62. It is on the same level as the Yves Saint Laurent um, ink foundation. The Touche Eclat was pretty expensive, but the YSL ink one is expensive, plus you don't get one fluent ounce. But with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, you are getting one fluent ounce or 30 milliliters. The coverage on this one is light, to medium coverage you could build it up maybe the medium full but then i think you'll have a problem with it looking like it's just too much especially if the undertone of the foundation is off for you it will just emphasize that undertone if you know what i mean so this um foundation would be ideal as far as skin type for normal to dry skin it does seem to clean or somewhat emphasize dry and textural issues so kind of be aware of that it's not like major but i do notice that you know it i'll show pictures but it does cling a little bit to textural issues okay if your combination oily you will have to definitely do a mattifying primer if you do milk and magnesia you'll have to do that and you'll also have to do a combination of all two just depends on how oily you get in what the t-zone or whether you get oily all over but in general, what I found that with my combination oily skin, it didn't look too greasy. It looked dewy after about six hours, but it didn't look like ridiculously nasty greasy. So I was very pleasantly surprised about that. And it normally didn't get really dewy looking until about six hours. So the longevity of the foundation in that regards is really, really well. And it does last a long time on the face. I had no problem with fading or anything like that. Now, how does this photo? I feel that this photo is great without flash. I think that if there is a flash, you're going to have to be a little bit careful. I felt like that it had a little bit of a cast to it or a reflective quality to it. So kind of be careful with that. If you're going to be photographed, whether it's in a wedding or a photo shoot or anything like that, just make sure that you've taking a point and shoot or taking your camera phone with a flash to see if it does give you a white or a ghostly cast to it okay is this woman of color friendly i think it is woman of color friendly but there aren't enough shades at least for my liking i feel like there could be three more darker shades and uh two or three more in between shades like my shade i think would be 11 but they don't have a less sure i'm probably a 10 11.5 mixed together so that's kind of a bummer so more than likely if i wanted to if i really love this foundation loved it loved it if you love it and you're like my color you're probably gonna need the 10 and the 11.5 just to have a nice happy medium but nobody wants to spend 124 dollars on two foundations i'm just saying is it worth it as far as quality the performance of the foundation, the luminous uh, aspect of the foundation, whether or not it has a lot of shades, things of that nature, so on and so forth. All together, it's not worth it. I'm sorry, there are other foundations out there that are kicking ass and Giorgio Armani just isn't one of those foundations that I'm like, yeah, this is bomb diggity. The undertone of this is very red in the 11.5. So the reason I'm not so red now is that I use a lot of beige yellow highlight to really dull down that red. And I use a lot of yellow uh, red base powder to counteract the red again. It can come off way too red sometimes. Even after about six or eight hours, that red, even after powdering, does tend to come through and it does uh, tend to intensify just a little bit. So kind of be aware of that when you're thinking about getting this foundation that I believe 
me personally and I use sprays and powders and everything and it still felt like it oxidized so if you don't use primer sprays and things of that nature you're probably going to oxidize so kind of keep that in mind so I do feel like this foundation can tend to oxidize it feels light on the skin it does not feel cakey at all the consistency is not thick and it's not liquidy it's like right in between almost more to the liquidy side it is it's just it looks gorgeous on now it does it is a gorgeous foundation as overall it looks good in person and it looks good in natural light but it, uh, I don't think it's worth $62 I'm not saying it's a horrible foundation I, I didn't break out it doesn't have a bad smell the packaging isn't bomb.com but it isn't awful either so it's kind of a matter of opinion and like I tell you all the time I know I'm reiterating myself Go try it out for yourself, even if you are oily and you are a combination. It actually did not react bad with my oils, so I was very happy about that. Like I said, it does photograph beautifully without flash. That's me personally. Does not mean that that's not going to uh, be the same for you. But I, I'll show you pictures of with flash and without flash and you'll see the difference. Definitely check out my Instagram page. You will see tons of photos where I am showing how I wore my Giorgio Armani. Some are with filters, some are without filters. A lot of them are without filters and it's just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But however, you know, uh, for different strokes, different folks. But I'm combination oily. So uh, you will absolutely have to blot with this if you're oily combination and or do touch ups because that's just the nature of the beast. That's with any foundation. So that is my review of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Foundation. I don't think it's worth $62. Maybe $45, but not as far as high end considered, but not $62. Not at all. I definitely say pass. There's other great foundations out there. If you like a really decent, beautiful, luminous glow, you're going to uh, enjoy the uh, NARS Sheer Glow. It's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful in photos with and without flash. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And that gives a nice subtle glow. This glow on this one is more dewy luminous, but it's still a really nice glow overall and it's not too much. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask, rate, comment, and subscribe if you like. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.